Hi guys, Abacha's son has reacted to um, his father's um, the money his father kept for Nigeria for 20 something years. Like, how do I put it now? It turned out that um, it was discovered uh, more of his father's money, Abacha's money, was discovered uh, in foreign banks 211 million pounds. Wait, let us do some maths and convert it to Naira. But um, what happened is that his son has reacted and that's why I'm making this video. I will show you shortly but let's look at how much it's worth in Naira. It's 200 million pounds all right converted to Naira. My brothers and sisters this is devil money. Devil money uh, is defined as money that I can't pronounce. Uh, from what I'm seeing this is uh, this is uh, 82 billion 82 billion <laughs> whatever it is man if they're giving this money i'm rich for life if you guys remember one of our abacha's sons but i don't know whether it's this one this particular one i'm not sure but one of abacha's sons it was uh, reported allegedly then that uh, some years ago like 10 15 years ago that uh, he said that um he will never be as poor as dangote even if they recover all his father's money that he will never be as poor as Dangote. And you know, Dangote is the richest black man. And this man said he will never be as poor as. Okay? So that was. And the thing is that every blessed year, every year, Nigeria recovers money, Abacha's money. But the question we always ask is what do they do with that money? After recovering the money, is it like relooted? Re what do they do? What's the correct account? They should give us an account of what they do with the money. And how did Abacha get all this money? In case you don't get the uh, full gist, Abacha is the former head of state of Nigeria. He entered through a military coup, deposed the civilian president, and then um, entered and ruled for nine years. Okay? After ruling for nine years, eh, he died on the throne. I think he died at the point he was trying to make a transition into civilian presidency, where he himself will still continue, you know? Like, uh, like some of these um, other countries have done, like um, Robert Mugabe did. Robert Mugabe was a soldier that rescued his country in quotes from the uh, British rule and then he continued to become uh, handed over to himself as a civilian president and ruled until he was 92 before his assistant, one of his ex-soldiers, uh, deposed him and continued to. Then uh, they did it in Zambia to re 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 President uh, Museveni. He handed over to himself. So. That was the kind of thing Abacha was planning to do, to transition from military to civilian, but um, he died in the process. From the best I can remember though, he died in the process. Uh, the way he died is controversial, but the thing is that um, it's like he died in his room. And some people are saying that he ate an apple, a poisoned apple, and that was how he passed over. But the thing is that every blessed year since then, Nigeria as a country has been officially recovering monies he saved in foreign accounts. Alright? So it appears that this man has been shipping money to foreign accounts to save. But the joke around Nigerian social media right and now and these days is that uh, he actually saved, uh, he saved money and is the only dead person that writes a check to Nigeria as a country from the grave. Every time Nigeria is entering a cash crunch, uh, Abacha will write a check. To the country and the check is usually sizable this one is 211 million pounds like the total money that has been recovered so far i don't know if anybody is keeping account but from the best of my memory i think it's way over like five billion dollars ten billion dollars somewhere around that i think so but in case you guys are wondering uh, why he is that rich uh, even in spite of um, other people the thing is that number one is that all the other people that are around all the other politicians and leaders are not dead yet so you will never know how much they actually stole so this one that i are demonizing um in quotes all right in quotes demonizing abacha the thing is that we don't know how much other people stole because most of them are still alive you understand most of them are still alive so most of our civilian uh, military presidents are still alive till today okay Oh, most of the presidents that we have in the past, even civilian presidents, are still alive to today. So, uh, you can never tell how much uh, they have stolen. Okay? 
And then another thing you have to understand about military presidency is that uh, military leadership is that um, in civilian leadership, you have so many families, all right, a small group of families uh, siphoning the money of the nation when if they are corrupt, okay? If a country is led by a civilian um, democratic uh, family, all right? There's usually a string of families that know themselves, okay? An elite group of people that keep siphoning the money of the nation. You understand? So that family rank starts growing gradually because the sons will go and, and, and daughters will school. They will send their sons and daughters to school in London and in the US. And then when they are done schooling, they will come back and they will need to marry, okay? And then sometimes they marry someone uh, from uh, a little outside the political class and then into the business, the rich business class. So that family expands. So the thing is that it starts expanding if it's civilian. But on the other part, if it is military, in the military dictatorship, it's just one person that is uh, taking the money of the nation. If the person happens to be corrupt, if a country is being ruled by a corrupt military official, he takes the whole money of the whole nation. One person. You understand? One man. Everything. If he's going to save money in another person's name, it's probably his son or his daughter or, you know, very small, tiny nuclear family taking the money. That's why uh, sometimes the money is so much. All right. So let me show you what the son said. The son said, um, rest in peace. Rest in perfect and everlasting peace, Baba. We love you. Let your haters continue to drown in the peril, a pit of hatred until it consumes them at infinitum. Right, uh, look at it. Rest in peace, everlasting peace, Baba. We love you. Let your haters continue to drown in the evil pit of hatred uh, until it consumes them and add infinitum. All right, so that's um, Abacha, Abacha's son. All right, I don't even know how many uh, children Abacha has, I've not done that research. Okay. But um, I think one of his son won contest for a political post in his, in, in his state at some point. I don't know whether he later won. But um, another good example of a military uh, leader having so much money is that it is rumored that um, um, uh, Gaddafi is the richest man in modern history. Colonel Gaddafi he said he's the richest man in modern history. Alright. So Colonel Gaddafi... They said uh, by the time he was dead, he was worth $200 billion. That is not even Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg or Jeff Bezos is worth that amount today. None of them. Okay. So, um, you see how, how uh, because Gaddafi was of course the, a military leader who transitioned and um, he held his country, uh, which means he owns all the resources. So, he had that much money. He has so much money as a military leader. All right, guys, you let me know what you think. Um, there is another leader, the Sultan of Brunei. He's one of the richest again. He has 4,000 um, high-class exquisite cars. You know all those high-end uh, uh, cars like Lamborghini, uh, Ferrari? This man has 4,000 of them. One man, one leader, Sultan of Brunei. Let me even get this picture so you see what I'm talking about. Uh, my knowledge is even outdated, Save, I was saying 4,000 as of last year. Now he has 7,000 cars. You see, Sultan of Brunei car collection is at 7,000 cars and growing. The Sultan of Brunei cars proves he is the world's richest royal, according to Forbes, uh, which oddly doesn't list him on the top billionaires of the world. But it's safe to say that the Sultan of Brunei has a net worth of $20 billion, give or take $500 million. Alright, so you know why Forbes won't list him? Because Forbes doesn't list presidents. They only list people who got their money through business. Alright? So you see guys, Sultan of Brunei. What are you doing with 7,000 cars? Like if you are driving only one per day. You understand what I mean? Only one per day. If you are driving only one per day, it will take you 7,000 days to finish. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Sometimes this wealth thing can be just ridiculous. You can uh, it can be out of your mind in a way. Let's say uh, seven thousand divided by three hundred and sixty-five. Let's know how many years it will finish. It will take to finish um, driving uh, seven thousand cars once per day. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna take 19 years. 19 years for the for you to finish driving 7,000 cars once per day. How come the Sultan has 7,000 cars? What is he doing with them? One thing I can tell you for sure is that he's obviously not driving driving them. Even if testing the cars is a full time job, like um, he's not ruling his country again, he's just testing new cars that are bringing for him. He will still not be able to. <laughs> oh my God! What do you guys think? I'm gonna stop here. You let me know. You subscribe. All right, hit that red subscribe button below. Smash it like a childhood disobedience. Smash the red subscribe button. Okay, and also remember that if you're looking for a way to start making money online, the link is on the screen. Maybe you can make a lot of money and uh, be able to buy 7,000 cars, all right? Or maybe we can start recovering your money after you're dead. You can start signing a check to me after you're dead, all right? But at least the course is going to lift you out of poverty and lack and want and give you uh, a, a purpose, something to pursue. Maybe your children can inherit it. All right, and teach you something that your children can start on time, especially that YouTube course. If you have kids and you're watching this, your you, your kids need to have a social media account that they are running. All right, so that by the time they are 18, they are multi-millionaires. All right, now you can have at that time you can hand over their bank account to them. All right, don't let your kids finish school before they start thinking of what to do with their life. All right, so let uh, start a YouTube channel for them. The link is in the description section. Follow the way I thought, all right? I'm a very experienced YouTube um, YouTuber and I have so many channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers and I can tell you the secrets inside it. Go grab that course and it's, you're going to thank me later, all right? It's going to change your life and transform your family. The richest YouTuber in the world is an eight-year-old boy that started this channel in 2015. I don't know what you were doing in 2015, but somewhere in the world in that year, I a five-year-old boy decided to start his channel a youtube channel and uh, last year he earned 22 million dollars last year the year before which is 2017 he earned 11 million dollars and the year before that he earned five million dollars from youtube this youtube you're saying thinking is child play go get the damn course all right then there's a course on for for adults if you have earning above one thousand dollars and you want to start uh, making a lot of money from the internet start a very stable business uh, the cost is there too if you are broke flat ass broke there's a cost for you too all right go to the website and get it thank you very much guys see you